Greetings, YouTube. Happy new featured arena champion Crystal Thursday, including to our very own Katie Candy, my incursion bestie, who said she's going for Mangog maybe this weekend. So check out her channel as she grinds her life away, internet phrases. But uh, all of my featured Crystal openings for the rest of the month, since I will be opening $200 worth of featured Crystal openings, $50 at a time, five crystals apiece, are sponsored by KJ Hawks, the truly generous, incredible subscriber who never fails at showing generosity to so many in this community. Very much similar to our man Pep1000. Um, okay, so we have five shots, $50 worth, of the new Mangog, and yes, Super Scroll is also a uh, sub-featured champion. I would love to get at least a five-star Mangog just to be able to tell Katie Candy, yeah, I didn't need to grind for him in the arena like you. Ha-ha. <laughs> but, you know, I don't really expect it. All right, as always, we love Nexus Crystals in these. As always, we will be spinning. And then if we get a three-star, which about half these crystals will be three-stars, then we'll go to uh, Team Pop. And if we get a Nexus Crystal... We will um, probably open it <laughs> later on, like uh, well, like what we used to do with across the pond streams in the summer when I actually didn't have to teach during the day. All right, well, it's going to be a three star probably. First crystal is a four star void. Oh, six star Fiona Shrek was one away. All right, well, it's not a three star, so we'll stick with Team Spin. Ten bucks for a four star is. Uh, worse than what retail price should be, particularly for somebody who's at my progression level. So I don't really, I'm, I'm thankful it's not a three star, but I don't really get excited by a four star anymore. You know, I used to, especially if it was four star Scarlet Witch or Black Widow or Doctor Strange, you name it. But now, eh, four stars are four star. All right, well, our first shot at six star Mangog was not successful, <laughs> but we have $40 worth. In this run, we'll be opening the next 50 tonight on stream, by the way. So the back half is always the evening half. So stay tuned for that. Um, we can see Mangog in the real faux show. Let's, let's just tap the crystal here and see if the tapping gives us a little bit better luck. Five or six star. What's up, Vamaduck? That'd be amazing. And a three star Karnak is not amazing. The tap strategy did not work well at all. But now... This allows me to introduce the Prof Box Prof Tot method to the madness, where we will have a great opportunity to bounce back from that ugly three star. Can we get our first five or six star champion? Nobody knows but the Crystal Gods. We're going to do the double pet method, which usually works out for me. All right. $20 in, a three star, and a four star to show for it. KJ Hawks. You sponsored better luck than this. Show us something better. One, two, three. Show us a five or six star, and it's back-to-back -back three stars. Would have loved to awaken my six-star stealth suit in that crystal. I say that knowing it is uh, definitely not possible. The last couple of these I opened, I've opened five stars. I mean, it's been a long time since I opened a six-star, but a five-star is still really a good feeling. And after starting out with a four-star, we have been cursed. Good news is Mama Bear likes to say it's always better in the back half, and it is not going to be difficult for the back half to be better than the front half in this case. We did have our worst batch of 10 ever. Literally lit $100 on fire a couple weeks ago. Eight three stars and two four stars in 10 crystals. It is almost impossible to do worse than that. So, so far we've got two three stars and a four star. We are hoping to avoid the fate of that opening and we need to get at least one five star today to make it better than that day's worth of sadness day's worth of wasted money time and energy mangog show us that featured champion i have a bunch of expiring four star six stones so i would love a four star of the featured or sub featured champion i'd actually settle for that slowing down what's up black panther and, well, it is a four-star, but not the four-star that we were looking for. So two four-stars and two three-stars. This is the definition of terribly average luck in these 
openings. I say the average five a batch of five opening is either three three stars and two four stars or three four stars and two three stars. And so if we get a three star or a four star here, we are literally doing that exact drop rate worth of luck, but we're hoping that it's saving the best for last. We're hoping that this crystal is the magic crystal that gives us something amazing, some mic drop moment to end on. It was a couple months ago that we got a six star from our first of five crystals. It was OG Black Panther, and that's something I'd always wanted to do. And so I knew to really embrace that moment because it's so rare that it just doesn't come around very often. Let's, uh, speaking of which, tap the crystal. Maybe a nexus will come up. You just never know. What's up, five star Tigra? And hey, we are saving the best for last. What's up, Guardian? I haven't opened you too often in the crystals, but I have pumped a lot of six stones into you, and you're at now 193. Oh, Canada. Mr. Canada himself. Well, I mean, I still give myself at best a C minus for this $50 holler, but hey, KJ Hawks, at least you sponsored one five star, and maybe we'll get a six star tonight. Stay tuned for the back half of this opening where we open the second $50 worth. And then, of course, we'll open another $100 when the second featured champion comes out at the end of the month. Uh, until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you hit the lottery, hit me up. We'll be doing a, uh, a luck recap video for the best community luck for these crystals in a couple days.